Hey guys, Mabuhay! Today we're going to discuss geometric series. Without further ado, let's get started. Geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Representing it in a formula, S sub n equals A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R, where R is not equal to 1. We can also use the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 minus A sub n times R all over 1 minus R, where R is not equal to 1. Recalling our previous discussion, we mentioned using two formulas. To solve for the n term, we use A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1, where R is not equal to 0. And to find the common ratio, we use the formula r equals a sub 2 over a sub 1. Here's the human-friendly version in solving for geometric series. Now, how do we know which formula should we use? Here's a tip drawn from an observation, and I'm not saying it is 100% true, but I theorize that if a sub n is not given, we use the formula s sub n equals a sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. But if a sub n is given, we use the other formula, which is s sub n equals a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. Again, I am not saying this is 100% true. I just based this from a mere observation. Moving on to the step-by-step -step tutorial in solving for geometric series, using the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. Step 1. Get the common ratio. r equals A sub 2 over A sub 1. If A sub 1 is already given, Proceed with substituting the formula and you're already done. But if we're going to use the other formula, which is S sub n equals A sub 1 minus A sub n times r all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. Step 1. Get the common ratio. r equals A sub 2 over A sub 1. A sub n is already given. So what you only have to do is proceed with substituting the formula and you're already done. Let's give it a try. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24. First what? You got it right. First 10. So that means n equals 10. What else do you notice? That's right there is no last term. So what formula are we going to use then? Correct again. We use the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. First off, let's solve for the common ratio. r equals negative 6 over 3. We get negative 2. Substituting the formula, we get S sub 10 equals 3 times quantity 1 minus negative 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus negative 2. We get S sub 10 equals negative 1023. Still confused? Let's try another one. Find the sum of a geometric series whose first term is 3, and whose last term is 46,875, with a common ratio of 5. As you can see, a sub n is already given, so that means we should use the formula s sub n equals a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. Don't panic when you don't see what n is. You don't need it for this example. Everything is already given, so all you have to do is substitute. S sub n equals 3 minus 46,875 
times 5 all over 1 minus 5. We get S sub n equals 50,593. That's pretty much it. It isn't hard at all, right? If you get it right, do not think you're already a pro at this. If not, well, there's still the example you can try on your own. Don't lose hope yet. Here's the last example. Suppose Rico saves 100 pesos in January and that each month he manages to save one half more than of what he saved the previous month. How much is Rico's savings on October? Substituting the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r where r is not equal to 1 we get S sub 10 equals 100 times quantity 1 minus 3 over 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus 3 over 2. Rico savings on October is 11,333.00781 pesos. That's all for Geometric Series. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for more tutorials.